Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an EMP generator from simple materials that are readily available. EMP generators produce very high uh, electromagnetic pulses that can knock out electronic devices such as calculators and the like. To make your EMP, what you'll need is a source of high voltage DC, and you can buy these type of units or you can get them out of uh, electric uh, electronic fly swatters. You can get them um, from camera flashes. You can buy them from eBay and they cost about five to ten dollars from eBay. This one's a more expensive one um, so I wouldn't recommend using this if you're just planning to uh, uh, make one to have a bit of fun with. Then you'll need a high voltage capacitor. This one here is rated at uh, uh, 30 kilovolts and it's 100 nanofarads. Actually, it's 10 nanofarads. This is 10 nanofarads and 30 kilovolts ceramic capacitor. You can also use uh, polypropylene capacitors. Here's a, a coil of wire, and this is the best way to coil it up. If you wind it uh, on a cylinder, it doesn't work quite as well. So just about 20 turns of wire, and uh, I'm going to use 20 gauge, 22 gauge wire in my uh, setup but pretty much uh, anything in the range of 20 gauge will work. So this is the circuit diagram for a simple um, electromagnetic pulse generator. Here's your high voltage supply. This is connected to a high voltage capacitor and in series with the coil which is 20 turns. And when the voltage is applied, the capacitor charges up as the voltage on the capacitor builds up, it will discharge across this spark gap. And you can adjust this, typically about half to one centimeter, so that you get a nice spark. And this spark completes the circuit for a tank circuit. So you get very high frequency oscillations, depending on the number of turns of this coil and the size of this capacitor. And those high frequency electromagnetic oscillations will pretty much wipe out or disable any electronic device that's nearby. So this is the circuit that I'm going to use in this particular video. So let's get to what it looks like when it's all connected up. So here's the device connected up. So here's my coil, a 22 gauge wire, 20 turns. I've got some zip ties which I've converted into legs to support it. It's connected to the output of this DC power supply. And this one's got um, like a CW multiplier to get it up to 20 kilovolts. And then it's connected in series with that capacitor, that high voltage capacitor, and the coil, and then back to the power supply. So that's all it is. And your spark gap is right here, where I have those two pieces of wire bent. And that's gonna provide the uh, output of this coil. So let's go ahead and try that with a calculator. Now I'm going to connect it up to the power and let's see what it does. Here we have a calculator and I'm just going to type in some numbers like that. Here goes. So clearly uh, we'll knock out electronic devices and I'm thinking if I got it too near it may probably irreversibly damage it. So let's try again. Hang on a sec. So there you are, a simple EMP and a demo of it knocking out um, a calculator. Thanks for watching and please check back.